Hey guys, I'm at Yashio Factory and these guys are famous for their pink drift cars, which you would definitely see inside. But first, let me take you around some of the cars that they have parked outside. So I do apologize about the noise because there is a sort of metal works next door. But first off, we have a green 180SX that has its engine removed. So if you have a look underneath there, it's all empty. And it's intercooler. And the car originally used to be pink, which you can see there. But now it is this sort of chrome with sort of green parts on it. And it looks awesome. Not many of these around or exist anymore, but this is definitely a drift car. You can see some of the damage that this car has picked up over time. But have a look at the camber on the front wheels. Let me just show you that. That is just some serious camber. And inside, we have a couple of bride seats. Have a hydraulic handbrake as well. And it's more or less stripped out. Behind here, we have a Sylvia S15. Let me just get this color corrected. That's better. Okay, so we have a pink S15. This is obviously no front bumper. That's sitting over there. And lots of tires behind there as well. And obviously as they are a drift competitor, they go through tires like nothing. So this originally used to be blue. Uh, not many mods from what we can see. Uh, most probably an air filter, some hard pipes, but this must be running some serious power. Again, lots of camber on the front. We have an oil cooler there as well. And I like how they choose pink as their color. So inside, more or less factory. Let me just try to show you guys. And it's got sort of a wide arch kit at the front as well. It's pretty nice. We have another S15 bonnet there with a white one behind that. A couple more bumpers and a carbon fiber bonnet. Over there, we also have a couple of, it looks like 180SX bumpers. But there's another S15 in pink, very similar to this one. But this one has the Spec R spoiler. And I think it has some side skirts as well. This one looks quite nice. And this is left hand drive, which is very rare for Japan. But as you guys can see, it's quite dusty at the moment, but it's more or less stripped out as well. And look how stretched the tires are. And they use this competitively, so you can see how the tires have been degrading over time. It does look quite nice at the front as well. So let me take you guys inside. Just walk past all of these again. They have a crazy drift spec S15 that they are working on at the moment, which you will definitely see straight away. And that's that one there. So look at the front aero, first of all. That is just crazy, really mental. Earlier, the mechanic was changing the clutch out for the old gearbox and they are changing that out for this HKS sequential gearbox. So that's sitting on this gearbox stand at the moment. And this is some serious stuff. I just love this one the most. I like how they choose to put their tow bars there or tow hooks. And you can just about see the engine. Minimal clearance, they had to cut parts of the bonnet to get this to fit. But this has been drifting in a competition. You can see on the wheels as well. Don't even have time to clean this before it's back in here, ready for some more work. We have a couple of prop shafts on the floor. There are loads of parts around here, which I will show you guys after this car. Cutouts in the window for ventilation. These are strengthening supports. And we have a huge wing. And just over here in the shelves, vast amounts of SR20 parts exhaust, cat backs, and round the back here, so many gearboxes. Look at the amount they have. They must go through these really quickly. So many parts everywhere. And the tires as well, 
This car is running the latest Yokohama A052 tyres that is sitting there. Let me just show you the sticker real quick. So you guys can, can you see that there? A052, that's the latest one. We saw this at the Tokyo Auto Salon. And if I just spin around, we have another S15 over here. This one is in matte black. It does have really bright pink accents on the rear. Look at the camber. Look at the camber at the front. That is just crazy. It's a change to have a matte black one. The dash has been cut out. Which I'll try to show you guys. I think you can see that without me trying to cover the reflection. But that's really, really cool. I love this front bumper. I really want one for myself. S15 headlights have been tinted yellow as well. Carbon fiber bonnet. And lots of springs. Vast amounts of springs actually. They're all over the place. And brake pads as well. They must be going through a lot of these. These are all endless parts. And over here, we have an SR20 coming in for a rebuild. So it's all laid out nicely. Turbo kit there, a Nismo clutch. And it's just getting rebuilt at the moment. Have a bright seat just sitting there. And over here, we have lots of photos from their drift events. So you guys should definitely check out their competitions that they've entered on YouTube. NOS bottles as well. That's awesome. Nice to see that over here. And we move on to this 180 SX in a pearlescent white. It is quite dark in here. It's hard to show the color, but it does have this wide arch extension at the back. And it's really clean in here. Lots of defi dials, neatly arranged and fitted in there as well. We have a roll cage too. And the car seat. And it looks like the battery's been relocated to the rear. This is really nice. SR20 as well. Not too sure what this is. That looks kind of crazy. This must be running big power to have something like that. And the works wheels, these really look cool. Avan RGD wheels here as well. And over here we have a pink Toyota GT86. This is their spray booth. Super awesome. They're able to just come in here and just spray all their cars pink. You can see it all over the sides. And it's, I think it's a rocket bunny kit. I'm not 100% sure on this, but it looks really cool. And here's some stickers and little harnesses that they have. It's awesome. Over here we have, it's hard to tell, it looks like a PS13, is it? I'm not too sure. It's quite hard to see, I think it is. It does have wide arch extensions as well. And this looks really nice. Look at those ring mirrors. Aerodynamic. I like the look of those. Crazy camber on the front again. And look how wide these arch extensions are. I love it. What else can I show you? Have a look up there. Can you guys see up there? Lots of parts. Let me just zoom in. What do we have? That's just a pink bag, I think it is. Some gearbox parts. I have a bride seat there. Having a look around. I think it's lots of HKS parts as they are a performance dealer. Over here as well, we have a couple of the S15 dashes and suspension components. These are all spare parts, I believe. But the mechanics just working away at the moment. Just above there as well more storage areas so this place is awesome I myself have a s15 which I want to modify up and hopefully one day maybe not as crazy as that one I think 
like the pink S15 out here would be good. Maybe the one at the back with the spec R bits. That's something I'd go for. So thank you once again for watching guys. This is Yashio Factory in Japan.